pleasant day to all. This is your captain ART, Mr. Rex. Your uh, laboratory instructor for introduction to mechanical ventilation. And of course, we have here the new, the latest uh, generation of Puritan ventilators, the 980 series ventilator. So, we will continue with the, our discussion on setting the Puritan Bennett 980 to the various modes of uh, mechanical ventilation. So, just make sure that everything is connected, your gas supply, your uh, plug to electricity, breathing circuit is okay, uh, filters, expiratory and inspirator filters are uh, uh, secured as well as the breathing circuit. The uh, ventilator is tested past uh, SST at least for okay. And then do not connect your um, test lung to the breathing to the Y uh, connector. Okay, so we select new patient and then from the uh, uh, patient setup screen uh, we select the predicted body weight which is automatically calculated when we select the gender so let's say that uh, according to your case you are um, to provide ventilation to a female patient with a height of uh, 100 uh, let's say 53 okay and as you can see the the, the uh, predicted body weight or the PW PBW is uh, automatically calculated and under here here in this part it gives you the uh, tidal volume per ml per kg okay so that allows us to to identify our target okay based on the pbw okay so once you have entered those the uh, ventilator basically provides you with uh, uh, some settings okay well, for example let's say we increase the height of the patient to 150, 160. As you can see, the ventilator basically adjusts your tidal volume and your uh, max flow based on the uh, based on the predicted calculated predicted body. Okay, and also your target is uh, increased. So let's say again we go back to 153 which is ours uh, the case that we are going to set then directly on the screen you can choose invasive uh, mode of course we going to select SIMP and then for the mandatory type since we are we want the volume control we select volume BC and then of course uh, since uh, patient is allowed to breathe spontaneously in between the mandatory breaths then we select uh, PS as our uh, spontaneous uh, breath type okay to provide for uh, support for the spontaneously breathing patient and then you can select whether you want flow or pressure trigger in this case let's select flow triggering and so we can these are the active uh, active parameters in SIMB volume control plus pressure support so you have the frequency which again if you increase or decrease you will see that it affects your cycle time i.e. ratio but the inspiratory time is fixed okay uh, the tidal volume if you want to target the higher uh, uh, ml per or tidal volume ml in ml per kg or ml per kg then you can increase that so let's say we want to target uh, 7 ml per kg so we increase that and once again you could see that at a given uh, at a given tidal volume uh, it affects your inspiratory time the ratio and the expiratory time but not the cycle time okay so let's say okay done 325 while the max flow if we increase or decrease that will affect the inspired all the time i.e. ratio and the cycle time but not the but uh, the expiratory time but not the total cycle time so let's just say that we want uh, we want uh, one second of inspiration and so we must decrease the flow 
so of course the pressure support uh, we usually can start the pen and uh, depending on the case given to you but you can start at 10 and then titrate it to based on the patient's tidal volume and spontaneous, spontaneous BT and the uh, uh, total respiratory and then of course sensitivity low sensitivity can be set at 2 depending on the case given to you the uh, air 502 also uh, let's say 35 we are trying to win the patient and of course the peak pressure usually we can say set at 40 commonly in the clinic we set at 40 but of course you can lower that okay so let's say we just want 35 okay. then the rise time uh, in, in other ventilators the rise time can affect both the the mandatory and the pressure supported breath but as you can see here uh, even if you increase or decrease the rise time the the time expiratory time uh, IE ratio and the expiratory time for the mandatory breath is not uh, affected and therefore we can say that it does not affect the mandatory breath delivery so it uh, basically is for the spontaneous uh, uh, support okay then of course your plateau time which here you could affect the actually is affecting the mandatory breath delivery so you could uh, when you increase that you increase the inspiratory time you decrease the IE ratio and you decrease the expiratory time but not affecting the uh, total cycle time okay so let's just skip the uh, to zero so that uh, we keep our IE ratio of 1 is to 4 1.08 and uh, 4.92 uh, expiratory time again the ramp can be changed into flow or uh, decelerating flow pattern it's up to you okay and then of course the E sensitivity is or the termination sensitivity is a flow termination uh, capability which is only uh, active during the pressure support uh, or spontaneous breath uh, delivery okay so you could uh, again at higher number there will be early termination of the spontaneous uh, breath uh, uh, the lower number will be uh, or shall we say delayed or longer termination of the spontaneous uh, breath okay. and then of course the PIP so once you have set these uh, parameters you can uh, accept and start the ventilator and as you can see uh, it asks you to confirm but you can just uh, connect okay connect your test lung to the circuit uh, to, and it will automatically detect for your uh, patient okay. so now we are delivering so we can you can see now that uh, this this particular portion here is changing okay that is a synchronous rest this is a spontaneous synchronized breath okay when we stop breathing the okay, ventilator senses that uh, the ventilator's time to deliver a mandatory breath is uh, lapsed and therefore the ventilator will provide the control mandatory ventilation okay. and after you have observed some time the ventilator you can now uh, check and set for your uh, alarm limits so we have the following alarm limits for the uh, Puritan Bennett 980 series ventilator Okay, so we have high peak pressure we have the okay so here uh, 
unlike uh, unlike the servo you where you can move here you have to set your knob okay so we start at 20 then our max is uh, 40 and you can set let's say at 35 which is a good already an indicator of your patient especially adults in you know respiratory distress Okay, same thing you use you utilize the recommended uh, okay, recommended setting in your manual how to set the alarm so you just use it okay you need to increase your demand as you can see both uh, spontaneous and and mandatory Okay, it goes together so okay. basically the same thing no? but for the low tidal volume for mandatory and spontaneous you can have a separate setting because uh, you know we basically expect that uh, with the spontaneous uh, with spontaneous uh, breathing you know our uh, our tidal volume will be much lower than uh, the mandatory but of course it depends on the effort of your patient okay okay so once you're done you can just select accept all and when the goes to the okay okay as you can see there is changing this is assisted Synchronized bed, spontaneous, sponta assisted, synchronized, spontaneous. Okay. Okay, controlled, spontaneous, assisted. So that's it. This is how you set the Puritan Bennett 980 ventilator uh, in SIMB volume control and plus pressure support. Thank you very much. Enjoy learning.